Hey chatters, I am pumped. We're going to start our obsidian journey today, whatever today might be for you. It's always weird doing these videos. I'm like just talking to a camera, but I feel like you're with me. I feel like you're with me. Okay. So let's talk about uh, obsidian. In a couple of my previous videos, you might have seen I went through what a second brain is, the concept. It's more or less a like digital, aspirational self memory. It's really think about it as like your your personal scrapbook of all the knowledge you find valuable and set up in a way that works for you and your preferences. So because of that, there's a learning curve. It's not coming necessarily designed with a set of principles beyond like you make your principles for this. So we're going to go really slowly, step by step for everything. I've poured a lot of hours into figuring out how to make my workflows, but you also want to come into this thinking about what are the workflows you want to create and make easier and more engaging to empower yourself. And then thinking through the tools that you have access to make that happen. So first, what is Obsidian? What is it, the heck is this thing? It's pretty much just a note-taking tool. You have your typical things where you're taking notes with some additional functionality. It can also go across all your different technologies, your iPad, your phone, whatever it might be. But one of the things I really like about Obsidian is this privacy aspect. This is all stored locally on your device. It means you can get to them quickly and offline. There's syncing possible. We'll get to that later. There's lots of plugins and themes to really make it fit the way you think, like I said. And all of the files are in Markdown, which is something I've talked about before. It just makes it super portable. You can take this with you anywhere. Like eventually, if you want to abandon Obsidian, no matter what you move to, it's going to be super easy to transfer these things, no matter what system you're using. So we're going to get to all the other fun stuff uh, here. But for now, the first thing you're obviously going to want to do is download this guy. So just go to download. You know, hit the download button. I already have it downloaded, so you don't, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but once you have it downloaded, come back and we'll get started on the next part. Okay, I'm going to assume that you were able to download it. Welcome back. So the next thing we're going to want to do is create a vault, which again, security is built into this thing or as secure as you want to make it. So we're going to create a new vault and call it whatever you want. We're going to call it Chatters. And you're going to want to choose a location where this is going to exist. Right now, I keep it in my drive, my Google Drive. It's just an extra way to back it up. You put it wherever you want, though, if you want to store it locally or OneDrive or wherever. And this is what we open up to. So let me help you navigate this interface. It might be a little overwhelming. The first two things I want to point out are the sidebars. Up here in the corner, this brings this in and out. And this is just your file directory. It's just the folders and notes that you have. In here, you can create a new note by just clicking this button or doing Control N. We'll do that right now. We'll just call it First Note. And then you can also create a folder by clicking that first note folder. And then you can just click and drag this in. And now it's just like any other folder system. You can sort, you can collapse everything. But the idea here is this is just your directory. Now on the other side here, we have another sidebar. This is the sidebar you're going to be using for custom plugins and other things. For now, what just comes in here is pretty much your backlinks and your tags, which we'll talk about in a minute. Now, in my previous video, I talked about Markdown. This is just you natively write in Markdown. So if you want a heading, you do heading one, spelled it wrong, heading two, spelled it right. And then you can do things like bolds. You can actually do control B or you can do the actual Markdown since so bold. And all the rest, you can do your bullet points, you can do your check boxes and check it. You just write that in. And obviously you can create hotkeys for all of these. We'll get to that eventually. But the idea here is you're writing in Markdown so that it maintains that portability. The next thing we want to talk about is internal links or backlinks. You've probably heard of this term before. It's more or less what drives SEO. The way Google works is that if you have a ton of sites pointing to your site, that's probably a legitimate site. 
So you're doing that book just for yourself. And so you need to be thinking in this way of what are those constant themes, terms, key concepts, more or less things that would deserve their own Wikipedia article are things that you're going to want to enclose in double brackets because it will create a backlink to that specific note. For example, if I just want to do second note, okay, and you'll see here it's this dark purple, but it's linked. Now, what that means is that this is an orphan thing. Like there is no note yet that is about second note. But if you double click it, suddenly we've opened up, you'll see here, second note. And then if we just want to connect it back, you'll see I'll do this. And even right there, first note. And now it's backlinked. And you'll see that it's light purple now because that actually has a link. And if we go back, you'll see it's the same thing with this one. It now has a link. So we've just connected these two pages. And you'll see here on the sidebar, it's showing that. It's seeing where there's linked mentions. So again, you want to start thinking about this in terms of how is everything in this messiness going to connect to one another? You don't have to be super thoughtful or deliberate about it. It's better to err on the side of caution and over bracket things because if you don't make a note with it, that's perfectly fine. The next thing, which is very related, but a different way of thinking about taking your notes and how this system works is tags, hashtags, which is something that I think all of us have used and know about. We've been using in social media for years and guess what? It kind of works the same way. You're essentially just labeling the data so that it's easier to compare to other things and query. Both of these, the backlinks and the tags, are going to play a huge role because the idea is that we're going to hook up a large language model to our personal notes, and that way it can actually just reference those and all of the backlinks. You just create a much better way to navigate the information in your vast mess of your mind. So the last thing I want to leave you with, which is more of a visual representation of what I'm trying to communicate to you, is the knowledge graph. This is what my personal vault actually looks like in terms of all the backlinks and how things are connected to one another through tags as well. So the point here is that you can go into this. We have Israeli-Palestinian relationships. We have Jeremy Bentham. We have Alistair. I'm doing a lot of philosophy research. And then on the corners here, you have ones that are orphaned. So this is not connected. These are my prompts, for example, are not really connected to anything. So the idea is you want to be building towards this more interconnected knowledge set. And then it'll be fun. We'll connect a large language model up to it. But this is where I want to stop us. I don't want to overwhelm you. My call to action at this point in time is just start taking notes in here. Don't worry about structure. Don't worry about I don't know, any sort of fancy schmancy stuff, just literally start taking notes in here. Create a new note for every day and then just take some notes in there. It could be one line, two sentences. I don't care. Just start building the habit. And then next time we're going to get deeper into all the wild and wacky things we can do with this. So. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for listening, chatters, and excited to go on this journey.